Good morning. So today I'm doing the yearly plan for 2019. And what I'm actually looking at is I have this the year ahead. It's a PDF that a friend of mine shared with me where I look at 2018 and the things that happened in 2018. And then I look at 2019 and the things that I'm planning to do in 2019. So it's a huge, huge process that I will go through. So they say you need at least three hours in order to be able to complete this well. So I will show you some of the things that I'm filling in right now and even when i finish and when when i go to the things that i do for 2019 so i'll give you a small overview of exactly what is happening here and then once i have finished it because i need to finish it today today is fourth i'm a bit late on doing this but the thing i want to do is make sure that i fill it all in so it is about 20 pages that I need to fill up. So if you would like to get a copy of this, please check in the description below. My email address is there. Send me an email and I will send this to you so that you fill it as well. Then once you've filled it, you let me know in the comments on the things that you love about it. So. I'll just go through it very quickly all through the pages and then once I've filled it I'll show you some of the things that I've filled in and also my thoughts around why I feel the things that I've filled in the way I have done it. So in in getting ready it says arrive put on some relaxing music pour yourself a hot beverage let go of all your expectations and start when ready. So just a summary, the past year, going through the calendar, go through last year's calendar week by week. If you see an important event, family gathering, friendly get together or a significant project, write it down. There's a whole page. This is what my last year was about. What aspects were the most important to me in the following areas last year? Which happenings or events were the most significant? Summarize briefly. The aspects are defined by what is important to me they do not have a definition on purpose which is really interesting in case you achieve something this year you always wanted it should be on the bucket list so the areas are personal life and family work study profession belongings relaxation hobbies creativity friends and community health and fitness intellectual emotional and spiritual and finances and finally the bucket list then six sentences about my past year, the wisest decision I made, the biggest lesson I learned, the biggest risk I took, the biggest surprise of the year, the most important thing I did for others, the biggest thing I completed, six questions about the year, what am I most proud of, who are the three people who influenced me the most, who are the three people I influenced the most, what was I not able to accomplish, what is the best thing I discovered about myself? What am I most grateful for? The best moments describe the greatest and most memorable, joyful moments from last year. Draw them on this sheet. How did you feel? Who was I with? What was I doing? The kind of smells, sounds, or tastes that you, I remember. Then three of my biggest accomplishments. List the three greatest accomplishments from 2018 here. What have i done to achieve this who helped me to achieve this and how did they help me three of my biggest challenges list your three biggest challenges from last year here who or what helped you overcome those challenges and what have i learned about myself while overcoming these challenges then forgiveness did anything happen during the year that still needs to be forgiven deeds or words that made you feel bad or are you angry with yourself write it down here do good for yourself and forgive if you don't feel ready to forgive yet note it down anyway it can work wonders letting go 
Is there anything else you need to say? Is there anything you must let go of before you can start your new year? Draw or write, then think about it and let it all go. The past year in three words. I choose three words to define my last year. The book of my past year, a book that was made about your past year. Write down its titles. Apologies if we got it wrong and yours was made into a movie. Sorry about that. Uh, so here it's just about if there's a book that would describe the way your year has been then you write it there then farewell to last year if there's anything else left that you'd like to write down or there's anybody you would like to say goodbye to do it now you write it down the people the toxic people that we are living in 2018 that we left in 2018 so you're done with the past year you have finished the first part take a deep breath get some rest then the year ahead which is 2019 then the as we go through the year dare to dream big what does the year ahead of you look like what will happen in an ideal case why will it be great right draw let go of your expectations and dare to dream so the key thing here is making sure that you put something here that is really huge that does not look like it is achievable but you dream big the bigger you dream the better because then it stretches you enough my takeaway from this is usually if your dream looks achievable when you're dreaming it then it's no longer a dream it's something that you can wake up tomorrow and it's already completed but you need to dream of something that you will need to sit down and actually plan on and actually do so many things so that you get to that thing so that is really important to dream big to dream something that looks like it is not achievable at the first time the year ahead this is what my next year will be about define the important aspects of next year in the following areas which events will be the most important and of course they don't have exact definition so you use your own discretion then personal life and family work studies profession belongings home objects relaxation hobbies creativity friends and community health and fitness intellectual goals that i have emotional and spiritual finances and finally the bucket list this is where you can list those goals you eventually want to achieve something that is just out there completely the next is the magical triplets for the year ahead the three things I will love about myself, the three things I'm ready to let go of, the three people that will be my pillars during tough times, the three things I will dare to discover, the three things I have I will have the power to say no to. Then these three things I will make my surroundings cozy with. These three things I will do every single morning these three things i will pamper myself with every or oh, regularly slowly sorry these three things i will pamper myself with regularly these three places i will visit i will connect with my loved ones in these three ways with these three presents will i reward my success six sentences about my next year this year i will not procrastinate any more on the things that i will not procrastinate on this thing this year i will draw the most energy from this year i will be the bravest when this year i will say yes when this year i will advise myself to this year will be special for me because my word for the year ahead pick a word to symbolize and define the year ahead you can look at this word if you need some extra energy so you remember not to give up on your dreams secret wish unleash your mind what is your secret wish for 2019 you are now done with planning your year if you've taken a photo while filling out the booklet feel free to use the hashtag hashtag year compass i believe anything is possible this year and the date and my signature made by the volunteers of year compass and invisible university international 
I'll place the link in the description below. They explain that they're native Hungarians and this workbook is a translation of their original work. Should you discover any typos, mistakes in grammar or non-existent expressions, be kind and drop a line via the above website. If you like the compass and would like to help them, please visit. Then, of course, they, they have licensed this work under Creative Commons international license which means that i am actually allowed to share it with you even without letting them know but yeah so let me know in the description below if you'd like this i'll place my email in the description so that if you want this particular workbook it's in pdf form i printed this because i want to actually write down every single thing that i want to achieve this year and also look at what happened last year and all those things so that if you want this as well let me know i will do another video on after i have filled this